<laughs> what is it magical people Mandy the mage here and today i'm gonna be putting the heavy mobs from each biome up against each other in a tournament style battle arena to see which one is the most dangerous mob now you might be wondering what exactly i mean by heavy mobs well almost every biome in the game has some form of heavy class large mob that usually acts as a player skill check for the black forest this is the trolls for the swamps it's abominations and so on and so forth and this video is a continuation of my more recent video where i put the mistlands mobs up against the other mobs in the game so if you're new here be sure to check that video out but in today's video we're going to be watching one-on-one -on -one battles between each heavy class mob and seeing which one will come out on top so if you're ready to get into today's video stay tuned and i'll catch you soon so as you can see here, I've went ahead and built up our dirt arena. Um, and while this might not necessarily be as fancy as the arenas we have made previously, um, the reason why I went ahead and chose the dirt arena is because I realized that these heavy enemies, uh, you know, they, they, they do be packing the oof. <laughs> Um, but this here is the battlefield with which our heavies will be duking it out. Um, and like I said in the intro, this is going to be a tournament style. And just to kind of explain that, we're going to be pitting the mobs against each other one on one. And then the winner of that one advances um, onto the winner of the other bout. It'll make sense once it gets started here. But I do this just to kind of keep the best 1v1 experience for each of the mobs. And then the mob that does win gets an extra star and then goes on to fight the other mob that won. You guys know how tournaments work. Um, so with that all started, I think it is time to just hop in it for our very first round here. So we're going to have a a one star troll here versus a normal abomination. Um, now, the reason why I'm keeping this abomination normal here is because I figure with the power difference between the different biomes here, it'll kind of work itself out, hopefully. Um, if the troll has a major advantage, we might have to do a redo, but you know, we'll kind of get there once the time is. Oh, it's getting. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, it's raining. I don't like. Hold on. Yeah, look at that. Another sunny day. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and get this battle commenced here. Um, I figured because this space is tight enough, they would naturally kind of aggro each other, but I guess not. So, I'm going to go ahead and at least get the abomination woken up here maybe it will just find its way over to that troll you guys are you guys are you guys gonna hang out they are they're really uh all right let me go ahead and put myself in the center all right so now it looks like we're engaging all right so we're getting some serious strikes in here it looks like the troll is is doing is doing considerably more damage already to the abomination that's kind of crazy to see I, I figured this would be a little bit more even Let's get a grounds on heads up sort of a uh, look at this here. Oh, this is a shame. This is a shame to see. And with that, it looks like the troll has defeated the abomination. Now, here's my thing. Here's my thing. I think that's because it was a one star troll. So if you guys will bear with me for one second, we're going to go ahead and run that back just with a normal troll. Just because if a one star troll is already taking care of an abomination, you know, I don't want to create a situation where it becomes very clear which mob is going to win. So hang on one moment. We're going to go ahead and clean up and reset here. Okay, so here we have our regular regular troll gonna go ahead and get a regular abomination in here because i guess maybe they're more even than i thought they'd be so let me go ahead and get everybody aggro here fight each other guys all right so now the damage looks a little bit more even already the troll has an advantage and i think it's just because the abomination is slow to wake up so he was already able to get a few extra hits in but the dps is looking relatively even here Yeah, this is this is certainly a more fair match here. Um, they are pretty neck and neck. Both have fairly standard combos, um, and they're both pretty much the same speed with delivering them. So it's gonna be really tight. I feel like I'm in Attack on Titan being this close, but this is how we gotta get the good angles, guys. Get the great angles. You know what I mean? Oh, is the abomination? Oh, this is this is an interesting turn of events fascinating turn of events okay so it is very clear that the starred troll is uh, is pretty is pretty heavy compared to a regular abomination i didn't think it would be that even um but this feels about right but yeah do you think we're gonna go ahead and go with these test results here um just because it feels like the sort of most even match but with that the abomination has succeeded so it will get an extra star and uh, it'll go against the winner of this next round here um but first let's go ahead and clean up get this boy out of here all right and we're gonna go ahead and clean up um, but with that done let's get on to the very next match in today's video all right so here we have a one star stone golem we're gonna go ahead and get him up in moving and then his competitor is gonna be a normal locks um now i figured just because the mountain and the plains don't feel too evenly matched um you know we're gonna keep the locks standard 
and uh, the stone golem gets an extra star. Uh, but it looks like he's engaging, so let's go ahead and see what happens here. So, so far, it already looks like the Lox has a higher damage output in general, but it doesn't look to be attacking as much as the Stone Goal. But when the Lox does hit, it hits. It, it definitely does hit. The Stone Golem appears to be more than halfway uh, done with his health here. So let's see if the Lox can kind of uh, squeak out a win. It looks like the Stone Golem is catching up in terms of damage that he is doing. Ooh, that was a solid shot though from the Lox. And here it looks like the round has come to a close. Excuse me, sir. It looks like the round has come to a close. Now that was fairly, uh, I guess, predictable. Um, I was surprised that the star didn't do too much already. I figured that the stone golem would have been already pretty close to the normal locks as is, but I guess not. You know, the locks are powerful. They're my favorite big boy personally, um, but we have to do the sad, unfortunate task of today of clearing out the arena. So goodbye locks, I love you. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Uh, but let's go ahead and clean up and get on to the next round here. So here over on this side, we have a two-star abomination. Um, now, I figured we'd give it two stars just because it won its last battle. And I think it's going to need it if it's going up against a Lox here. Um, so let's go ahead and get that spawned in real quick. And we have a one-star Lox. Now, they're starting to engage each other. Let's get on the ground here. See what the damage output is looking like. Oh, the Lox is getting distracted by me. Sir, sir, fight your battle. Okay, I really can't tell who's doing more damage. I think it is the Lox, but it's surprisingly close. That Abomination is uh, is particularly sturdy. Um, I think it needed that star buff in order to compete with the Lox here. And I'm just happy that it is, uh, you know, it is fairly closer than I thought it would be. So far, the Abomination has the Lox trapped in the corner, but it does not matter. Uh, the Lox is slowly but surely chunking away at the Abomination's health here. If maybe the Abomination had more strings in its combo, or, you know, was able to attack faster, maybe it'd be able to catch up with this Lox, but so far, so far it is looking, uh, looking pretty bad for the Abomination. Oh, that is, that is insane to see. So, Lox, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of rooting for the boy. Um, I think locks so far are, are pretty much the deadliest uh, heavy mob in the game. Because even if we have a one-star locks going up against a two-star abomination, um, the lock still has almost half of its health left. So, you know, it's just kind of clear to see that this, this beefy boy um, might just take it home. So let's go ahead and clear him out. Um, we'll go ahead and clean up and then go on to the very last round for today. And now for this last round, um, we have a one-star secret soldier versus a two-star locks. Now, this round is really interesting to see. Um, I didn't know if I was going to include this one just because I don't think the Mistlands necessarily has a heavy. Like, I don't think this is the heavy. Just because when I think of heavies, I think they're usually bigger. Uh, but this one certainly has the damage output and looks like he's engaging. So let's go ahead and get this round started here. Oh, they are so close. It's not even... Oh my goodness, the Lox is running away. Why are you retreating? Get in there. Oh, the Seeker Soldier so far is doing more damage. But I think the Lox is going to catch up. This is fascinating. I do, I do really like this color on you, Seeker Soldier. You should, uh, you should experiment more with your, with your color shades. Oh, is that a crit? No, 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 ouch. Okay, all right. Now the Lox is running away again. Please don't engage with me. You see your enemy. Oh, another crit. The Lox needs those crits. I mean, this is kind of crazy. Stop. Focus on your enemy. Focus on your enemy. Oh, I don't know if there's a specific part of the Seeker Soldier that the Lox is hitting, but that is some serious damage output. Oh, this is, this is unfortunate. Unfortunate for the Mistlands biome. Wow. Wow. So guys, I mean, it looks like we have the official winner of our tournament here. Um, it is the legendary two-star Lox. Barely seen in the vanilla game. I don't even think they spawn in the vanilla game. So this mythical beast right here is the winner. Um, but even though we have a winner for the tournament already, I want to do one last bonus round. Um, just to kind of have some fun here. So we're going to go ahead and clean up from that last one. And then we're going to go ahead and get into our bonus round. So for this bonus round, I think I'm going to spawn in everybody and just kind of see out of that mix of all the enemies in the same field at once, uh, who's the winner. So Lox and then in the very middle here to kick it off we're gonna spawn our two-star seeker brood now it looks like everybody is engaged let me go ahead and wake up the sleepy boys oh they're all meeting in the center here let's wake up this sleepy boy and it is chaotic it looks like everybody so far is jumping the secret soldier i think that is the smart idea 
Let's get on the ground for this here. The Abomination is finally getting into the mix. Oop, don't mind me. Wow, the Stone Golem locks an Abomination and a split off onto their own. The troll is being handled by the Seeker Soldier. So far, the two-star locks and the two-star stone golem haven't sustained that much damage compared to the abomination and troll, definitely. Oh, and there goes the troll. I figured that would be the case, um, you know, just naturally, as it is the first heavy mob in the game. But now let's see the results. It seems fairly stacked. Um, it does look like the abomination has the lowest health of the bunch, but he's closely followed by the stone golem. Leave me alone. Oh, it's looking close for the abomination and stone golem, but the abomination takes it. Uh, so now let's see amongst these three, who is the victor? It looks like the abomination is close to its, its last, and there it goes. And we are back to the Seeker Soldier and the Locks. Again, it is seeming pretty neck and neck. Oh, but the Locks cannot get off these attacks as quick as the Seeker Soldier. It does have crit strikes, but I don't think it crit strike its way to victory here. Let's see. And there it goes. All right, in that bonus round, we see who the obvious winner is. This is kind of what I suspected would happen, um, just because, you know, it is essentially the final heavy of the game, so far at least. Um, but it's interesting to see how kind of naturally uh, all the heavies went out one by one according to their biome. Um, except for maybe like the Stone Golem and the Abomination. I think the Stone Golem got defeated before the Abomination, I believe. Uh, but for the most part, it was the Troll first, then it was the Stone Golem, then the Abomination then the locks, and lastly, the Seeker Soldier. Um, but this isn't official, not a part of the tournament. I just kind of wanted to see for the funsies of it. Um, so let me go ahead and get this cleaned up. And with that, it looks like we have reached the end of today's video. So if you guys liked it, be sure to hit that like button. If you're new here, you might as well subscribe. And let me know in the comment sections down below who you were rooting for. Uh, I personally, I knew my two-star locks boy would take it all the way home. Also, if you guys have any interesting ideas for videos, let me know in the comments too. Um, I appreciate your guys' input, especially recently with these recent videos. We do have tons of new people subscribe to the channel now so thank you for all your support i do appreciate it and uh, don't be afraid to uh, to reach out and talk to me in the comment section there but with all of that said i've been manny the mage and i'll catch you guys in the next one